Hello, Dr. Steve Green here from Make the Grade. A common question I get asked is how do I set up and then implement an SAT program? So I'm going to make this video today to discuss that, hopefully preemptively answer questions. Many, many people have their excellent questions and describe how I would take an initial inquiry and a phone call and then turn it into an SAT program, hopefully a very successful one for your son or daughter. Typically the first step of any SAT program is assessment. An assessment can take a few forms. One would be evaluating prior tests, sometimes PSATs, sometimes other SATs. Uh, there's also some anecdotal discussion. Some people will just tell me, well, we need more help with math and reading or what have you. Another component of assessment would be some assessment I could do with some mock testing that I would put together. Typically that's a one or two week process at the most. The goal of the assessment is to determine where you're at or where your child's at, what their needs are, what they're good at, so that move into the second step which is setting up a syllabus and a guideline for the course which would address these things exactly. This guideline is usually a blend of goals versus time allotted in the program and it's very well defined week to week. We have goals of what we're going to try to do. So the assessment will lead into the syllabus. Some weeks we work on reading, math, writing, etc. The various components of the test and the subcomponents within there. As a matter of course, most people meet one hour once a week. Then there is homework in between that you know, typically in the famous SAT book that would reinforce what we've learned and preview what's coming next. Then they would come back the next week. We would go over the homework, move into our next topic, and then go from there. As a matter of practice, I am a huge believer in hands-on work. I think when people are here, they've got the calculator and the pencil, and we're actually in the book working, writing, actively engaged in what's going on. This is not about lecturing or really a class-type environment. This is more of a workshop-type thing where here's an idea. Okay, you try it. Here's a couple things. You try it. Let's work on things like this. The last thing I'm going to go through today quickly is there are essentially three things that should be included in a good SAT prep. One test taking strategies which are covered amply. This is actually uh, the SAT strategy pack I use with all the different things in here. Two is fundamental skills. In math, for example, that might include things like areas, lengths, formulas, uh, just textbook sort of things that people ought to have learned. And the third thing is pacing and logistic control of the test, things like that. These are all addressed in, in some sort of pro rata fashion depending on what's going on in, in the situation. So, the goal of this video was to tell you essentially how we would go from the initial inquiry into our uh, program. Uh, the program is typically very successful and I have a good track record with many testimonials of success. Hope you found this helpful. Let me know. Once again, Dr. Stephen Green from Make to Grade Academic Services. You can reach me at 215-540-8378 or through maketograde.net. Thank you very much. Have a great day.